Hey guys, it's your boy Matalaming Gaming here and welcome back to Why Are They Informed? This is Team of the Week number 36. Buckle up your seatbelts because this is a big one and let's get right into it. Starting off this week, we have Kaylor Navas who has been awarded a hero card after performing some brilliant saves as he's been doing a lot lately in the 2-0 game versus Malaga to win Real Madrid the 33rd La Liga title. Benucci is now at his third in form. He didn't get any goals or assists in the 3-0 win versus Crotone. He did help to keep a clean sheet though and delivered some really great long balls. But most of all, Juventus finally won the Scudetto for the sixth year straight. Koulibaly is back with his fourth special item thanks to a goal in the 4-1 victory over Fiorentina, keeping Napoli one point away from Roma with one game to go. Cameron has made it into the starting 11 this week, grabbing one assist in Stoke's 1-0 victory over Southampton. Pau Pogba reaches 5 goals in the Prem this year with a lot of contribution in Manu's 2-0 win against Crystal Palace. Spanish midfielder Vitolo bags 2 in as Sevilla beat Osasuna 5-0 at home. This is his first in form in this campaign which is also a position change from a right midfielder to a left midfielder. Ronaldo makes his first appearance as a black and gold card this season, helping Liverpool beat Middlesbrough 3-0 with a goal and an assist, leaving Arsenal behind to play the Europa League. Wow, another card for Son. Not entirely sure why though, as he only got one assist as Spurs beat Hull City 7-1. Maybe because they couldn't fit him in team of the season? It always gets more interesting as we approach the strikers and this week is no different. Yes, I said strikers because Mark Rose has had his position change from his usual left wing position scoring two goals in Dortmund's thrilling 4-3 victory over Werder Bremen. Man City's Argentinian striker Sergio Aguero hardly ever fails to score as he's proved once again this weekend with two goals and one assist as the citizens defeated Watford 5-0 securing their third position spot between Tottenham and Liverpool. This is only his third special item this year though with two informs and one man of the match. Oh boy, Alexandre Lacazette, I've lost count as to how many cards he's got in himself. The Frenchman is just a joy to watch, just take a look at the two goals he scored in Lyon's 3-3 draw versus Nice. That puts him in second position as League One top scorer with 28 goals, behind Cavani's astonishing 35. Moving on to the bench to finish off, as always we have Farman from Schalke who saved the penalty in the 1-1 draw versus Ingolstadt 04, De Preveil who scored a hat-trick in the 3-0 victory versus Nantes, El Sharawi from Roma who grabbed himself two goals in the 5-3 victory versus Kiva Verona, Ozako who scored one goal and grabbed one assist in the 2-0 win versus Mainz. And to finish off, I had to include this guy because of his hero card, I wouldn't attempt to pronounce his name to avoid making myself look stupid, but he helps Stuttgart win 4-1 in the weekend, which means they'll be back in the Bundesliga 1 in September. I wonder if we've ever had two hero cards in one team of the week. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, I really do appreciate all the support on this series, it does mean a lot, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time, I'm out, bye!